So we're in the midst of the Donald Trump impeachment trial. Now make no question about it that Donald Trump is absolutely guilty. It's all laid out in video and was broadcast on national television. The Democrats in the House will lay out tons and tons of video, probably things we've never seen before. It's going to be appalling, and it's going to be clear that Donald Trump is guilty of inciting these crazed idiots to charge the U.S. Capitol. But that doesn't mean that the Republicans in the Senate are going to see their way to convict Donald Trump. Because, you see, with them, it's not about what's right, what's true, or what's best for this country. It's about what's expedient for their reelection. They think as long as they have Trump's fans on their side, it will help them get reelected. But what these senators really need to consider is how they will be portrayed in history. You see, in the 1960s, there was a very prominent politician. His name was George Wallace. He was the governor of Alabama, an admitted racist, very polarizing. In fact, he's known for a famous quote, segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. You can see it on YouTube. Now, this guy was governor four times from the 60s to the late 80s. Now, of course, in the late 80s, he was elected after he told everybody he was born again and he was a better man. He ran for president four times. He lost every time, but he was a legitimate candidate. And then he was shot by some crazed gunman and survived. But in spite of that, when anybody ever brings up the name George Wallace, the only thing you think about is a crazed, polarizing racist. He could have done a lot of good for Alabama. Maybe he did. You would think after four decades he would have done something. But no, now he's a crazed, polarizing racist. That's all we know about him. I was a little kid when he was first governor and came to prominence. He had this whole history, and that's all I know. This guy's a crazy racist. We're glad he never got to be president. So for the Republicans in the Senate, you have to be very careful where you hang your hat because history may not portray you very well. And your great-great-grandchildren may not think too much of you. In fact, they may be embarrassed that they're even related to you. They won't even mention your name. If you can't think about what's right, if you're only concerned about getting reelected, at least think about how you will be remembered, what your legacy will be.